Hey everybody, good morning. Uh, well, actually it's about noon right now. Whoo boy, there has been a lot going on here at the Morrow House. Gunner, please buddy, come on. There has been a lot going on here at Daniel Morrow Outdoors. And, go baby. Girls, listen girls. I've got a surprise for y'all, but it's got to wait a little bit, okay? I got some other things to do first, and we got a surprise. It's gonna be fun, y'all are gonna like it. Okay, guys, Blue's doing some things today. I have to get out of this house. Oh my goodness. Oh, guys, look what she's doing. Don't That's come in here with that video camera today. Uh, baby, I don't, no. Uh, uh, uh. We gotta show everybody, what are no. you doing? I'm cleaning out the cabinets. What is going on in here? Oh my goodness, I, 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 I'm gonna go outside. I'll spend my day outside. Here's the bag you wanted. This can go to the trash and this. How many of these bags already? This is how many bags is this now? Two. That's the second big, That's huge second contractor bag. bag. Yeah. I'm getting rid of everything. There you go. That's what I'm talking about. High five. High five. Yeah. Five. Or what we got? What's going on in here? Elora and Brindley. I don't know what they're doing. What? Are y'all having a concert in here? Yeah! Get out of here! Holy schmoly, I didn't get show y'all that. Out. Stop! Okay, Whew. All right, guys, we gotta get out of here. Listen! Okay, guys, so, since I've been, well, since I can't go in the house, because there's all kinds of craziness going on oh. there, uh, I've had something here for about a week now that I have not had a chance to mess with. As y'all know, Brienne is moving. Oh, guys, this place is a disaster around here. Let me just show y'all just a little bit. Oh, this, this bothers me. I'm, I'm, punk, quiet down, pipe, pipe down back there. It's like that's come back from a movie. Okay, let me show y'all what we got going on here. So, Bree's house is gone, obviously. The fence is gone. So there's chunks of concrete where the post were at. Um, there's just, you know, that's part of the skirting that come off her house. They want to use that to build something for the chicken. For the chicken houses, so, you know, hey, reuse whatever you can. Don't let me get me started about the porch again. Anyway, those guys tore my yard to pieces with that little machine. I get it, I get it, the house had to go, but goodness gracious, when I come home from work and I see this, I knew it was gonna be a mess. I didn't know it was quite gonna be I didn't know they was gonna get way out here. Um, look at that. They had to cut that tree down and completely move it. Well, they couldn't get the machine around it. So that nice, pretty cedar tree that used to be there is over there. I gotta call it down to the back. Uh, but this is what we got here right now. And you know, guys, in in three or four months, we'll look back and everything will be, it'll be a brand new, beautiful home here uh, with the porch. I don't I don't know if the porch is going to connect perfectly or not. We're going to have to just kind of see how that all happens when they get here. I've got to get these ruts fixed up. I did bring in some sand yesterday from the back, and I'll do that again today. Uh, there was a bunch of ruts out here where I put that sand, but the thing is it rained last night. So I don't want to come in here and try to put more sand down and tear up more stuff because the yard is 
wet. Everything's wet. Um, I don't know, man. It's just, it's so, I'm so proud for them, but I'm, it's so disheartening for me because you guys know how I'm about my yard. And, you know, we spent years and years getting into this shape. And when, uh, after Harvey and uh, Jake and them got the trailer put in, and you know Bree and them built a porch and just getting the yard back to normal from all of that and then here we are five six years later and it looks almost like it did after harvey again and it's just really <laughs> it hurts my heart but my heart's happy for them also so anyway listen let's do this I can't go in the house i can't work in the yard uh we got some more stuff to pick up too around here too but anyway we'll get to it since we can't do any of that, let's go into the garage. Let's put together an electric bike. So I was sent an electric bike. I think it's gonna be kind of like Breeze, I'm not sure. But uh, you know, at first, when they asked me if I wanted to do a bike and do a, uh, you know, do a video on a bike. I had to think about it because uh, I don't want to just have stuff to have it, right? I mean, if it's something I can use, that's one thing. And I don't mind doing videos on cool things that I can use. But I don't want to have things just to have them. So I thought, okay, where would I use this electric bike? Bree's already got one. I've rode hers before. Bree's bike is, she's got a couple. Her bikes are awesome. Uh, but I started thinking, okay, well, what can you do on it? Well, I thought, you know what? I have a side-by-side. -side. And, uh, you know, I pretty much get on it and I can go to the back. I take the girls for a run. But, you know, to take the side-by-side -side out, you've got to come into the garage. You've got to lift up the garage doors. you got to, you know, make sure it's got gas. Don't get me wrong. I love my side-by-side. -side. I mean, I love it. And it's great and it's comfortable. And if there's two or three of you going, yeah, this is the only way to go. But I thought, you know what? If I had that electric bike, I could come out. If it does well, I could come out and jump on it. I could take the dogs for a, a run real quick down to the back. Uh, you know, if Kim calls and says, hey, I need this or that, I could run down to Kim's. Um, you know, I think it would just, I think actually it would come in pretty handy. Uh, just to, uh, like I say, just to, hey girls, let's go for a run and take off on the bike. So we're gonna put it together real quick. We're gonna show you all how, how it is to put it together, how hard or difficult it is. How hard or difficult, how easy or how difficult it is. And then we're gonna go do some terrain testing on it. And uh, we'll take the girls for a run and uh, make sure that it does everything that, that uh, we want it to do. Now listen, I wanna tell y'all something real quick. Guys, I will not ever do a video on a product that I don't like. So let's listen to this. If I put this bike together and there's something about it that I don't like, you'll never see this video. Okay, like you'll never see the video if I don't think that the bike is something that, that you may wanna have. And I'm not pressuring you to go buy bikes or whatever, but I'm gonna, you know, there's other products that I'll probably end up doing also. And listen, I promise you this, there's products that I've already been asked to do reviews on that you've never seen because they just weren't good products. So I'm not going to show you guys something that, that I don't believe is a good product. I may do a video on it, but you'll never see it if it's not a good product. Um, uh, so let's, you know, with that being said, let's go see what we got here. Guys, real quick. This is a lot of Bree's house. The things that she didn't get rid of the things that can be stored for a while is all on this trailer in my garage so i don't have a whole lot of room to like really work here everything else she took down to lester's barn dominium where she's living at uh but of course this besides things that are on her back porch anyway while we have that going on i think i've got enough room back here guys this is it again with my country i don't know if i can pronounce this 
Psy Rusher. Psy Rusher? Kai Rusher? I don't know. Whatever. But making rides amazing. Let's open up this box and see what we got. Okie dokie. Uh, let me see here. The one thing I probably have. Ah, there we go. You got some scissors. What's up, guys? Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Can't see much yet. Uh-oh. I wonder, can I pull this thing straight out? that all right uh box cutter there was a box cutter here aha just the other day i knew it There's a start to what we got. This is how it's going to come packaged. Guys, it's going to take me a bit to get everything out of here. Let me get everything out. That's really cool packaging, by the way. Uh, let me... What? I don't... Okay, surely old Dan's not going to have to read directions. All right, let me uh, let me pull all the stuff out, and then we'll see what we got. What is this, Lou? Uh, it's a potato. <laughs> no, this is... Or onion. Wait. Yeah, like, okay. Oh, so I you put your you potatoes or onions or whatever in there. You put... You no, put just top. upside down. Just like that. Oh, you put them in here. Yeah. And then you push down and they come in into this bowl and it's all cut up. Sweet. It's amazing when you clean up a little bit all the things you can find in it, baby. Yeah. We got a lot of cool stuff in our garage right you now. You didn't don't even uh, say anything mean to me. I figured you didn't make that movie. I'm done. I'm done with you today. You know me? Situation. This bike, Lou. That is, is huge. Awesome. The tires are huge. Oh, hold this up, baby. I, I'm busy. Uh, I know you are. Well, I hope my <laughs> I hope my butt does okay on on that seat. I look just big seats. Big seats. No, that's that's big. I was making a joke. Making a joke. Oh, mainly all put together already. Yeah. How cool is that? All right, I gotta go. Okay. Almost done. Guys, it's mainly all put together. Oh. So cool. There's not gonna be a whole lot to do. The back wheel and everything's already on there. Um. Got some handlebars. I'm, I'm sure those are handlebars hanging down there. Those will go on. The front wheel's got to go on. I'm sure there's just a few other little things. This looks like it's going to be a cinch. The pedals have got to go on. Um, yeah, so we got some pedals to put on. We got the, the, the front handlebars, the front tire. And I'm, there's probably going to be a few other things. Okay, let's check it out. Hold on. Let me, I'll be back in just a minute. Okay, guys. So the handlebars are on. That uh, seemed pretty easy. Just four little bolts there. And uh, I haven't located 
have not located the uh, pedals yet, but I need to get the front wheel on. So we're going to flip the bike over, uh, take out the spacer. Yes, that was just in there for shipping purposes. And then, uh, okay, here's the front tire. Pull these little caps off. Easy enough. This is, it's got a little brake caliper over here. Oh, I got to Okay, hold on. It's got a little uh, zip tie there. For some reason. Okay. Pull that out. Okay, yeah, it just holds the brake caliper open. Perfect. Stick that right in there. So very simple. Okay, I have a box. There it is. This is going to have... Oh. Wow, it's even... Well, if I'd have looked in here first, it even has tools. Uh, okay. Here's the little Allen socket set I needed. Wow. I actually got some pretty cool tools in here. I haven't even looked at the... I haven't even looked at the owner's manual yet. Some wrenches, which is good. Screwdriver, which is good. Um, okay. Uh, figure out what those are later. Of course, the, the pedals are pedals are there. Um, reflector. What is this? Oh my gosh, it's got a light. Sweet! We're gonna ride at night. Oh, missed another little wrench. That's uh, three wrenches now. Are you hey, y'all come check out my bike. Bye. Yeah. Hey, come check out the bike. How did you get one? Huh? How did That's you get awesome. one? What do you mean how do I get Why one? Why do you want to send me like this? I want a bike. Shh. Shh. What? It's got a camera right there. Why does no one send me things like this? <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, these are mirrors. Some <laughs> handlebar <laughs> mirrors. Sweet. That's awesome. Yeah, we'll be taking some rides here in a little bit. Y'all get ready. Okay. Matter of fact, go put Breeze bikes on the charger and let's get ready to roll. Well, we can't really do that because you don't have a house anymore. That's true. She is minus a house. <laughs> Jake, you said Breeze homeless is kind of true. Okie dokie, here is the charger. Um, I know this just because I'm smart, guys. I didn't read anything. But old Dan knows a charger when he sees one. And that is a charger. Wonder if I need to charge this thing while I'm getting it ready. Ooh. All right, I better do some reading before I go to charge anything. I don't want to do something wrong. All right, let me get this, let, let me get this front wheel put on. And the pedals put on, which is going to be so simple. And then literally, guys, it's going to be time to charge this thing up and and uh, go for it. Guys, it is put together. Now, oh, man, okay. 
So I just I brought it over here so I could air the tires up. It did need a little bit of air in the tires. So this is it. I got a little piece of plastic still on here. Uh, anyway, I ain't worried about the plastic right now. Okay, guys. Um, luckily, it has a full battery. So I was worried that I was going to get all this stuff done. Wasn't going to have a full battery, but it does. Um, we're fixing to go ride. Lou's going to come out and do some video, and we're going to we're going to put it through the we're going to put it through a test and see what this thing will really do. As far as the as far as putting it together, the pedals, you know, the pedals are left-handed thread. I'm not going to lie; those were a little difficult to get started, but it, it, I think you know it's just those. They're aluminum threads. Everything's aluminum, you know, to keep the spike light. The aluminum threads, a little hard to get started, but once you got them going, they were fine. Um, just a good looking bike. I could not find the on-off switch on this bike forever. Like literally for 12, 15 minutes I looked. It's right down under here is Why the on-off. Why did you look at the instructions? It's not, believe it or not, it's not in there. I did look you at the did. instructions. Yes. Hi guys. Hey, be grace. So there's the display, full battery, zero miles an hour. Um, so I guess the only thing now is to go see if this thing will go all terrain like they said it would. If we can use this to go to the back and ride down the trails. What? What's the matter? You didn't tell me where it's going with that. I look rough today, don't you? Yeah, you do look rough. Video. At least your eyes are working. <laughs> uh anyway guys it's a good looking bike let's go for a ride be great let's go let's go see what this thing will do let's go get crazy dogs yeah the they're acting all wild look she is going with us i see i'm assuming watch these dogs they run right out in front of everybody
never get to go because they'll keep running in front of us. This is really, really cool. Hey, Brindley, listen. your hair is crazy. Brindley, listen. I got a horn. She needs a horn for her four wheeler. You know what? Seriously, though. And I was telling them earlier that, you know, why would we really need a bike? But instead of having to roll up garage doors, get side by side, if you just want to run to Kim's, run to G's, or run to Lester's, or run back here with the dogs real quick, you know, it'd be simple to Friendly. jump on Sit down, baby. Here. Anyway, I think it's, I think it's pretty cool. It went down all the trails. We'll go, we'll go back up this way. But if it'll make it down here to the back, uh, probably not too much it won't. Gio, you better not get off. You're going to have to run all the way home. Anyway, all right, let's go for another little ride. These dogs stay out of my way. Yep. Gio. Oh, she's okay. You want to get her? Gigi. Hurry, grab her.
think I like the pedal assist more than just like the motorcycle style, just to start pedaling. And then it just goes. As long as you're pedaling, it goes and makes the pedaling like really, really easy. Anyway, uh, guys, that's pretty much it. Um, I know that Breeze had one. I know she's rode, that, rode down here a bunch. I rode that down here several times. So I'm really happy to have this one. Um, this one is different than any of them that we've, that Brian's had. And uh, I would say this one's just as, just as powerful and everything as, as any of the rest of them she's done. So I think it's gonna be a good product. I like it. It'll get you dirty. I'm dirty, ain't I? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Probably you got mud all over your butt. Probably need to get the fenders for it. Yeah. Anyway. Definitely pretty cool. Awesome. Well, you can have the side by side. I'll just take the bike. Oh, thanks. I'm joking. Whatever. <laughs> Let's go, girls and boys. Come on. Back in the yard. Back in the yard. Let's roll. Come on. Good girl. Good girl. Good boy. And good boy. Good job, guys. Uh, what about you and you? Huh? Oh. Whoo. All right, guys, so uh, that was pretty cool. Thank y'all for joining me. Uh, bike worked out good. I got more dogs over here right now. I got Chia, I got Moose. I don't even know who this dog is. Suppose this dog's got a home. Very cute little dog, but come here. This, this dog right here does not get enough attention. Uh, I think Brienne's got this dog a, a home. This was a rescue. Oh, little cute dog. Little cute dog. Little cute dog. Anyway, I guess that dog and moose is pretty. I don't even know if that what that dog's name is. Then of course, so right now there's four dogs in my yard and three dogs out here. Seven dogs. I own one. I own one. <laughs>